Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. So today I'm finally going through my single eyeshadow palettes, working on decluttering a few shades that I don't really wear, and then we're going to, here, let me put this under there so the mirror doesn't reflect, and then I'm going to try to organize these palettes in a way that makes some sense. So I don't really know how much I will end up decluttering. I don't I think there are too, too many shades that I want to get rid of, but I at least want to kind of go through these. So I think we'll start off with this little pink palette. All right, so looking at this palette first, I definitely want to declutter this first shade right here. This is from IBY. I used to have this in like a little compact, and I just hardly ever reach into this shade. So the shade is called Pink Beige and I'm going to declutter that. I'm definitely going to be keeping this shade from ColourPop. It's called Soft Core. I also plan to keep the shade Poodle from ColourPop. I also want to keep this one from Davina called Sora. Also going to be keeping this one. Don't worry, I'm not going to keep everything, but this is called Come and Get It from ColourPop. All right, I think I need to start a maybe pile. This is from Coastal Scents and it's called Dark Salmon. I don't really know, so I'm gonna put that right here as a maybe. But definitely keeping this. This color is called Making Moves. This one is also from ColourPop. I have a lot of singles from them. This is Davina Grimm, keeping that. And this one is from AOA. It's called Element, and I'm going to actually be decluttering this one. So two for sure decluttered. How many are we keeping for sure? For sure six and one in the maybe. So we'll move the maybe pile up here. All right, now we're moving into my cool tone palette. I, let me, I'm trying to decide if I wanna go shade by shade. I guess I'll keep doing that. A lot of these, honestly, I will be keeping, but this one I'm definitely keeping. It's called Starboy from Luxie. I really don't have anything like this one, so I'll be keeping it. This is called Aqua from Coastal Scents. Also, we'll be keeping Baseline from ColourPop. Basically, this whole first row of blues, I'm keeping all of them, so let me just grab these two together. This one is called Disturbia. This is from Luxie, And then this one is from ColourPop, and it's called Beam Me Up. Okay, this little red burgundy shade that doesn't want to focus. There we go. This is from AOA. It's called Amour. And I think I'm going to put this in the maybe pile also. The purple duochrome is from AOA, and I'm actually going to declutter it because it's basically a dupe for the next shade or one of the next ones I'm going to show you. Well, I guess I'll just show you now. This one is Glass Bowl from ColourPop. And that AOA one is so similar, I don't feel like I need both. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is the one that's a dupe for it. Come on. This is the shade Lucid, and this is the one that's actually a dupe for it. So wait a minute. I'm not swatching everything in this video, obviously, but let me swatch these two so I can kind of see. So this is Twilight. Definitely a very sheer topper shade. There's a train going by, by the way. And then this is Lucid, which is like a dupe for Glass Bowl and doesn't want to focus, but I think I'm going to declutter both. All right, this is Purple Haze from Luxie. I'll be keeping that. This is Mai Tai from Coastal Scents, keeping that as well. Like I said, in this declutter, I knew in advance I'd be keeping way more than I was decluttering. This is not a cutthroat declutter, but I did have a few I needed to get rid of, so. This one, it's like a plum shade. This one is from AOA also. It is called Worth. And I think I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile and we'll I just wanna come back to all those at the end and kind of see where we're at. Both of these matte purples I do wanna keep. One is from ColourPop, which is this one. This one's called 143. And then this one is from AOA and it is called Forbidden. This is probably my favorite purple. This is Charmed from Davina. So I'll definitely be keeping that one. I really don't have a lot of blue singles, and this is kind of like a bluish green, so I'll be keeping it. This is Formation from ColourPop. Now, out of these two, I want to keep one and declutter one, so let me see. This one is Iron. I had to put the name on it because this came in like a boxy charm, so it didn't have a name on it. 
but this is from Ofra. Here we go, it's just a black. And this one is also from Ofra, and it is in the shade of Smoke. I think I'm gonna keep Smoke because I obviously have other blacks, so I think I can get rid of Iron, maybe? Maybe that'll go in the maybe pile? Oh, I don't know. All right, moving on to my favorite palette out of all my single palettes, because I love, like, warm yellows and greens. So this is like my warm palette. Now in this one, probably not getting rid of many of the greens or the yellows, but I think in this row I have a couple that could be decluttered. Sorry, this is the longest train going by, and normally I would shut the window, but my cat is enjoying herself, so can't do that to Tilly. So I will be keeping Take It Slow. Decluttering Moment from AOA, it's just like a yellowy cream shade. Keeping Wake Up Call from ColourPop. Keeping Bel Air from ColourPop. Keeping one of my all-time favorite shadows. This probably has one of the biggest dips for all my singles. This is the shade Truffle. It is from Ofra. Also keeping this one from Coastal Scents that doesn't want to focus. This is the shade Kokomo Cafe. Getting rid of this peachy shade. This is from AOA. It's called Vintage. Definitely keeping I Owe You from ColourPop. I really like this shade a lot as like a transition. Okay, this right here is one of the most unique and beautiful shadows in my collection. It's called Lick It, Slam It, Suck It. Come on. It's so pretty. Focus on how pretty this is. I'll just swatch this one for you. I know I'm not swatching all of them, but this is like a yellow green duochrome. Look how pretty that is. It's from Luxie, if I didn't say that. This is Tiki from ColourPop. I'll keep that one. As well as Whimsy from Davina. Have to keep Paper Tiger from ColourPop, an absolute favorite. Also, La Playa, love that. Honestly, this whole green row, I'll warn you in advance. You know what? Everything else in this palette, except for, I think, like one of them, I'm going to be keeping, so just don't get your hopes up. But I wanna like keep going through every shade because I know I always have questions on what shadows I own. So I'm doing this partially so you guys can see the shadows. So this is Acapulco from Divina. Okay, we have Divina Charmed, or no, no, not Charmed, Martini. And then this one is Chemical. Sage Sensation from Coastal Scents. ColourPop Tea Garden. This is like one of the most underrated shades. I love this so much as a lid shade. This is Millennium Gold from Ofra. It's stunning on the lid. ColourPop Sideline and Team Captain. Luxie Urbane. And the one little lonely declutter will be this like brownish shade called Cashmere. This is from AOA. And finally, we have a new penny from Coastal Scents, keeping that. All right, and here are the final four I want to go through. I took them out of this palette because the palette is magnetized and it's hard to take them out, so I just did that in advance. First is this really bold orange shade that I've kept and I've kept, and I don't know. I don't love this shade. This is from Coastal Scents, and it's called Tangelo Tint. Ooh. Probably declutter it. It's so sheer. I sometimes would use it as a transition, but I have others I can use instead. This I want to keep. It's a nice like base to lay down initially. It's called Buttercup from Ofra. This is also from Ofra. This is Bohemian. I don't think I need that, so I'm going to declutter it. And this is Dark Olive from Coastal Scents. When I bought it, I thought it would be more of a green, but it really just shows up gray on me, so I'm going to declutter that. So the keep pile, as expected, is very large. The declutter pile is decent. And then these are our three maybes, so let's see. I kind of wanted to see how these maybes would play in when I had all the ones I was keeping. So I definitely don't need to keep all three of these because they're very similar tones. But I do think I'm going to keep this one because I don't have a lot of reds. So this is the shade Dark Salmon. From Coastal Scents. I don't have a lot of reds shown here or just in my collection in general, but these other two I think I'm going to declutter without counting it out, just kind of based on eyeballing it. I would say I decluttered roughly a third, which is pretty good, maybe a little bit less than a third, so that is pretty good. I'm um, excited to find new homes for those, but now I'm excited to find new homes for these and try to get them organized. So I do think I kind of want to stick with the green palette that I had going on and I think I'm going to try to fill this up basically in a similar 
format to what I had previously. And then I'll leave a few slots open to add some new shadows, but I think I'm gonna start this one off with that shade. I'm not gonna say shade names again, cause I feel like that would just make this video so much longer than it's already gonna be. So I'm gonna kinda try to go, actually I should wipe this out first, it's kinda gross. Back in action. So I'm gonna try to do this top row in kind of an ombre of colors similar to what I had before, like I said. And then the second row, I wanna start getting into like oranges and yellows, I think. That's fine for now. And then I think I want to start getting into the greens. Again, trying to keep it kind of like ombre. From like lightest to darkest. This one, I mean, like I said, this already looks pretty similar to how it did before, which is kind of what I was going for with this particular palette. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I kind of want to leave it at least those two open so I can add more. And then I want to do, I kind of want to switch this palette up a bit. Before I had it just like pinks and purples, but I kind of want to have like pinks and purples and blues in here. I do really like to kind of change up the way that my palettes are organized every once in a while because I feel like it just brings me some new inspiration and I think of some color combos that maybe I wouldn't have tried before because the palette is just set up in a way that's more inspiring to me. So that's why I do like to change these out every once in a while and move them around. You know what, maybe I don't even wanna put any blues in here. Maybe I want this to be just like pinks and purples. Let me put that aside for now and try this one and see what I think. If I did just do the blues, I guess I maybe this one needs to go in this palette. I'll move that around in a second. I do kind of like having the blues in here by themselves. So it's not completely different. Before I had the pinks in here and then the blues and purples in here. But I think having the pinks and purples together will be kind of cool for me. And then I'll kind of get a chance to like view the blues a little bit more like this. Actually, should I put this green in here? I kind of like the way that that pairs with those. And move that over there. Okay. I kind of like this little flower of blues. Actually, let me put the dark blue in the center. I like that. So again, I'm really happy with these. I feel like I'll be more inspired now. I'm not kind of looking through... So many shadows that I don't love. I got rid of a lot of ones that I didn't like. So all together, I'm decluttering 13, which leaves me room to add a few more into my collection. I also have this entire little ColourPop palette empty now. So that's always nice to know that I have more room for singles. I've kind of been avoiding buying singles because I didn't want to buy a whole new magnetic palette. Not necessarily that I didn't want to buy it, but I felt like I had enough space that I wasn't using so I needed to kind of go through and work a few of those out of my collection but now that I have I'm really happy with the way that they look so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video I hope that it was therapeutic for you and I know it always is like so satisfying for me to watch things be decluttered and organized like this so if you guys do like this and you want to see more videos of me organizing my singles in the future if I decide to move them around let me know by leaving a comment down below and giving it a thumbs up. I would love to film more, but I will go ahead and see you guys in my next one. Bye.